Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your love reading for the next 24 hours. This will be for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is a strictly Virgo channel only. If you want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Um, please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel if you enjoy my videos. And if you're new, welcome. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at House of Virgo. Okay, also, I haven't really posted anything up there yet, but I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on there. <laughs> Um, as I move forward. So I've been a little selective with that. Okay, let's take a look here at the past energy with your person. I don't pull reversals. So if you see me flipping it, don't get angry. That's how I, that's how I operate. Okay, past, present, and future. Oh, there's Page of Pentacles again. <laughs> a lot of up in the air energy with, with whomever you are dealing with this past week things are just not set in stone just yet all right let's take a look at the past okay you may have been involved with the fire sign aries leo sagittarius okay if that's the case that's your that's your person if not this is just someone who may have come across as very feisty confident and self-assured okay um golden opportunity was presented to you and a desire to be a team or a marriage. Maybe you were married or got married, okay? But there was some deception. Oh, I feel like you, you were connected with um, this someone with a false mask, okay? Not really showing themselves to be who they are inside, okay? Um, does that mean they were like purposely trying to trick you? Not necessarily. There might have been people wear, we all wear masks, at times because sometimes we'd wear a mask when we want to present our best self on in dating or sometimes we wear masks because we don't want people to feel like we are we want to just how can I say this like we don't want people to see our flaws or we don't want someone to know that we um like we it's almost like wearing a false mask is trying to be accepted that's why people wear a false mask. So you may have been connected with someone that was fronting or pretending to be, um, you know, I don't know if it's, if I want to use the word, the words all in, um, but there was an energy of hiding who they truly were from you, but they just were constantly saying, being positive about your relationship okay there was some stuff underneath that they didn't want you to know about them virgo okay um maybe they wore a lot of makeup if you're male or female it doesn't matter this person maybe wore a lot of makeup um to hide their physical flaws or you know did a lot of cosmetic things to hide things or um you know they told you they had like all this money and that they were like well off and then maybe they really weren't okay um <clears throat> they may have told you they were going to school because they were trying to get a degree in something um but you know maybe they weren't or they, or they said they graduated from college or something and they didn't you know um hmm I feel like there was an element here, though, of they were slowly, this person was definitely slowly trying to chip away this mask because they really did feel like you guys had the potential for a great romantic relationship. I just feel like, I don't know that anything ended here. Maybe it did for some of you, or maybe it's still going, but that that's the past energy. And I feel like if you sense that something was off, um, about them or they didn't want you to feel like they were strange or weird or different. Um, they may have been hiding that and slowly were trying to reveal. You see how he's kind of chipping away at what doesn't belong there to reveal what's really underneath. Okay. So Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. They were really trying to convince you. I'm the, I'm good. I'm good. Accept me. Accept me. Take me. Take me. Okay, Ten of Pentacles here over the Three of Pentacles, right? Um, this person might have been truly like 
they could have been in school trying to get some kind of degree but didn't tell you or they were they just I just get a sense they wanted you to think that they were way better than they were so that they could sell you on you accepting that facade and being okay with it okay the truth is this person it's weird i just got a strange message for some of you this person wore a false mask letting you know that they didn't have anything when they really did and they come from money or they come from you know a place where Oh, I just heard someone is like, um, either, oh, who's a person that teaches acting in an acting school? Somebody here might have been that, working, like, working in theater or something. Or they worked in theater. Maybe somebody was an actor. Or, an, well, do they say actress anymore? Or not wanting to tell you that? For not wanting to reveal what they do for a living. Kind of like the opposite. Not trying to impress you so that you wouldn't. It, this is a separate thing. There were some of you dealing with someone who really was something, but they were not trying to show you that. They wanted you to discover and learn about them their soul, who they were, who they are deep inside. But it was still false because at the end of the day, we are who we are. And if people can accept that we are sweeping the streets for a living or we are living in a palace, that's who we are. We have to own that, right? We have to own who we are. I mean, deception and hiding, you know, it... it even if there's good reason, I feel like at some point, you know, we've got to like come clean because that's so much pressure to have to live under. Because even if your person didn't want you to know something and then you found out, would they trust that you were still interested or were you fake? You know what I mean? I, you got to come as you are, right? And stay optimistic about your love life. This person tried to stay positive about you and the relationship because I feel like they really wanted to be with you. But they may have had some things that they just didn't want you to know about them or see or hear. Let's take a look at the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Four of, Cu Four of Cups. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, they were. This person had a fear of being like rejected or that you would feel indifferent. And so whether it was because they were living in a palace or living in a hut, they probably withdrew emotionally from you um, or felt as if, um, there, this can be a card of emotional unavailability, um, or they felt like they weren't, weren't deserving of love, right? What a struggle, what a struggle. All right, let's take a look at the present. Mm -hmm. No oh, true love. This person's crazy in love with you, Virgo. This is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> I know some of you are like, what are you, what? Your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations. See, there's some type of difference between the two of you, and that's why they were hiding something. Um, huge differences between the two of you. And I don't know if you live on the different side of the world or and you live in different types of worlds, you know, um, but I do feel like this person still wants to try to make something work here. And it seems like they are going to let go and try to have a new beginning with you here in truth and in authenticity and be transparent with you. It's almost as if, for some of you, they might have been trying to bait you or something. <laughs> Maybe they baited you in some way. But now it's like, you can't keep baiting. Now there's like some truth coming out. Okay, 
There's the hanged man seeing things differently. They're thinking about moving towards you here and they're overcoming their fears with that six of swords. This person is like making this transition indefinitely. And the hanged man for sure having like a different perspective about the relationship. What was what they thought was going to work in the past, for some of you, maybe you hung on to that belief that the deception that they gave you. Some of you might have found out the truth. Um, some of you might still be hanging on to it, or maybe you left, but I feel like whatever the case may be, your person is kind of like, you know what, that's not working anymore. I can't keep deceiving. I got to come clean. I got to come open here. Oh, wow. The higher font here. Yep. I'm just feeling a teacher. Some kind of teacher here. Somebody here is a teacher or an actor or works in that industry, theater. Not all of you, but um, there's some type of spiritual work that's being done here with this person that they're doing with themselves. Okay. Um, conforming to being normal <laughs> and what's normal i know there's no such thing as normal but what's what is normal is being in a place of integrity that's expected and that's what um having conventional expectations of truth and loyalty and transparency and honesty you know the real thing not some knockoff your person might have been fronting as some kind of a knockoff or something. Why would somebody do that with you, Virgo? Well, because you are in maybe intimidating or you have something about, they know somewhere, see the way they came in, I feel like your person realized like they can't get one over on you. They can't fool you because isn't that a trait of Virgo? Virgo is so perceptive. Virgo has the ability, um, maybe not in their own personal relationships, but with other people, Virgo, you just have this way of seeing right through the clouds, right through the smoke. You can clear cut, see right through things. You just pick up on that energy of people, you know, and um, you can't smoke screen a Virgo. You just can't. And if, if someone's smoke screening a Virgo and Virgo's going along with it, it's not because Virgo is fooled, it's because Virgo's allowing it for their own personal convictions or reasons, you know? <laughs> but truth is always within the Virgo. And I feel like this person is like, wow, okay. I do love Virgo and I gotta make this transition here and come into my transparent, authentic self and really put in the effort to show them who I truly am right? Because I feel different than Virgo and we are different and we have differences and that's okay. So let's take a look at the future. My cove control issues. Yep. Very soon decision is being made here. So truth comes out a win-win. Okay. This person comes in to try to make things right. They drop the burden. Okay. They're done carrying like they come to terms with, that's it. I can't carry this burden anymore of trying to be something I'm not, okay? Because it all, like at first, it feels like this person comes into like accepting the self and saying, you know what? I am what I am. And I feel like Virgo, you love this person anyway. You know, like you see the mask and you're like, oh, it's a shame you got to do that, you know? Because I, I see right through, I saw right through it the whole time and I loved you anyway. You know, but they just have an issue with themselves. Okay, so here they are going forward. Too exhausted, stressed, just can't carry this anymore. And then they start communicating with you with this page of pentacles. You know, how can we make this real? What can we do? Okay, I want to make this real. I want to, because that pentacle. That's tangible. Even though he's not holding it, it's still kind of like up in the air. It's there to be had. And I feel like the communication comes in. Like, what do we, how do we like grab onto this floating pentacle, these things that we can make real in this life? And part of that is them letting go of these control issues because wearing a self 
a false mask is a form of control, a deception. All the work it takes to deceive, <laughs> deceiving themselves, deceiving others. You know, people who deceive others are, are first and foremost deceiving themselves. That's how I feel. All right, let's see. Yep. Justice with the Three of Swords, right? Making right this heartbreak that they've caused or any kind of like um, break up or loss, even a divorce for some of you or an argument, okay? Fixing it with justice. That's like the truth coming out. Balancing the scales. Yep, here's the Six of Swords again, okay? Dropping... Dropping the burden and making the transition, okay? Up here, my hair. Up here, it's like contemplating about letting go and letting go of their fear and moving out of that fear-based energy. Up here, it's thinking about it, okay? Processing, because there is love and their mind is open and yes, they feel like, well, maybe I am different from Virgo, but I love Virgo, okay? And here they are, like physically dropping the burden so they can make these changes going forward. Oh, I can't believe the Eight of Pentacles is here again. Some of this repeating cards here. And that's what I was saying. How can we make, how can we do this? Well, hard work consistency, grabbing those pentacles and crafting them, okay? Putting in the effort every day, consistency, right? Not just living in dreamland about things or, you know, these concepts and ideas, but actually grabbing those pentacles. The pentacle represents the truth. It represents things that are real, you know, um, like earth, like feeling the, the ground beneath your feet, you know, living in reality, okay, and staying in reality day after day after day. And I feel like if they're not asking you that going forward, they're telling you, you know, I want to, I want to clean things up here, I want to polish things up here. And I want to, um, like, master this, I want to be able to master this relationship let go of these false mass things and this deception and this control. And here they are making this decision here because this is what they want with you. No more hiding. No more pretending to be something that they're not. And the whole time you knew it, right, Virgo? That's what I feel. You knew it. You loved them anyway. They didn't have to be this or that or they didn't have to not be something. So let's take a look. Okay. Protected. You're safe and divinely guided. That's what that person was. Protecting themselves. That's what the mask is. Right? We were all wearing masks last year. We were protecting ourselves. How many of you were like, oh, this is good. I don't have to put lipstick on when I go out. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I feel like those masks might have made a lot of people a bit lazy. <laughs> Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Okay. Mm. Well, your person may have some financial challenges right now. Okay. They may have been trying to prove them to be something that they weren't or aren't or weren't in the past, and now there might be some kind of struggle, you know, like someone who goes to all that work to prove that they have more than they do financially, and then they wind up making bad investments and bad choices, and they lose more, you know? Oh, it's like kind of like, okay, I bought this $2 million home because I wanted to show everyone that I'm this is what I'm about, but then they have no way to, to take care of it or pay for it, and it starts falling apart. And then they, they can't keep it. And then like the mask comes off and it's like, wait, you know what I mean? 
but authentically, wouldn't it be better to have $2 million in the bank and then just have a nice home and then have savings for the future and investments and stuff? So there was a lot of like keeping up with the Joneses. I couldn't let you get close to me. See, Virgo? They were hiding things. I hide behind material things. See, that's what they were doing, trying to prove themselves in a way. But that's not what they were really about. Just being near you is intoxicating, Virgo. <laughs> goodness lean on your inner circle during this time i do feel like your person is like you know you're in their inner circle virgo that's for sure they trust you they do because you see the truth and you've given them the truth and they trust you and you are a supportive person to this person. I'm starting to understand our connection. See, there was a lot deeper than what this person was willing to. They knew they wanted to be with you they, and they were trying very hard to impress you um, in some way or de depress you. <laughs> but I feel like they, you just did something where it made them realize that they can be exactly who they are and they'd be loved for being exactly who they are and they want to be more than friends here okay see i hid who i really am i hide behind material things i feel like these messages keep coming out so i'm going to leave your reading there virgo i hope that you enjoyed that um please come back tomorrow for your next virgo reading please hit like share and subscribe on the video and personal reading links are below this video i will see you guys very soon and happy fourth of july take care